Lots of lovely comments. If I'm before my galal goes cold, are you all right to, till about half past, Henry? To, to answer, yeah, 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 yeah fine. that's wonderful. Okay, because I'd love to um tee this up correctly. I'm sorry you don't have one in your hand as well, but I just want to do our try something Portuguese here. It's going to be galal in a box. Are trying, yes, we're trying something um, from Seralate, the, the made with milk from the Alentejo. Um, it has been sterilized, so I think the full creamy richness that you might expect from the Alentejo, fresh from the cow, won't be quite like that. But this is Galau in a box, in a nice terracotta jug on on the cover there. Um, and Mrs M, did you try this? Yes. Oh, hold on, I'm putting. She's going to be a voice from the side. What do you think? I think it is a gateway drug. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I'm thinking already as well. These are the sort I, of I foods. Think it's, how much sugar has it got in it? Um, let me just have a look. At I was going to ask the same thing, Louisa. Okay, let's let's just look at the instructions. <laughs> Not the instructions. I think the instructions are fairly obvious, aren't they? Um, ingredients. We've got um, light a parcel and and um, also dejna fado. Um, 1.3, that probably means sort of uh, semi-skimmed or something, 1.3%, still quite fatty, isn't it? Um, then sugar after yeah. that. Then some salt at 0.35. And this is what you could be careful of, isn't it, Henry? These these pro processed foods and what they might bring to your diet. Um, it's got aroma of salt. What is that? <laughs> Although, uh, yeah, it doesn't sound entirely pleasant when you put it, it like that, it does it? It kind of aroma tastes a bit like a pastel donato. I'm going in anyway. I'm about to try um, the... Galau Alantejo, Alantejano, to see what it's like. That's the colour of it, folks. Very thoughtful, Mrs. Yes. M. Don't want to be dropping that on the desk, do we? And we're going to drink it from the Good Morning Portugal mug, as we would suggest like everybody does. Let's go for it. You've got to see how it hits the nose. It, just, it smells like a coffee, and, but kind of fatty and creamy. Oh, it's a grandma drink. That with a berau in it. <laughs> is is something that uh, it doesn't fit in. No, I'm not having. No, no, please, no. I'm not. I'm not going to do. I could be celebrating, but I'm not going to ruin all the good work with um, a, a, a thousand calorie coffee this morning. I like yes. it. Right was, context, um, perfect. Go on, Henry. What's your view? Um, I was going to say you've, you've obviously done this on purpose, haven't you, to highlight the importance of being aware of drink how many calories you're drinking during the day. Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, yes. Obviously. <laughs> yeah, and, and it's, it's I would posit that that's probably quite a high calorie drink. Uh, it's high drink. It would be like um... Mrs. M saying it's very Christmassy. So let's yeah. wait till Christmas before we enjoy this. This is not on every translated as sugary, I presume. Yes, right, a sugary, fatty, <laughs> and alcoholic. Oh my god, it yeah. smells like a, a chocolate liqueur now. I'm not drinking that. <laughs> just have but a sip. Right, just, just have a, a tiny sip. All right. So that's Gra better, isn't it? Grandma's all over Portugal. Would absolutely love that, wouldn't they? Thank you, Mrs. <laughs> M, for enabling me this morning. Hey, Henry. In every sense. Hi, Louisa. This morning, right? So um, that that's again going back to the you know the idea of we can enjoy the things of Portugal, and in moderation. You had me don't measuring drink the whole carton. Don't don't drink the whole carton. Don't have it for breakfast every morning. It's a yeah. treat, and that's the way. This is what I've learned with working with you, Henry. You, you've done this remotely from the UK. You're you're based in beautiful Devon, and it's um it's on an app, isn't it? Where everything can be measured and yeah. measured and monitored. You get to see the feedback. And then you give me feedback and a little video at the end of the week. Tell us more about that app. Um, so we've had it developed um, for our course. Um, within the app is sort of the central hub of everything. Um, we do have in-person clients that use it as well. But obviously with a remote client, it, it's really, really useful way of keeping everything rather than the old way of sending spreadsheets and then speaking in Messenger and all sorts of different things. Yes. And you Nightmare. using apps. It's all in one place. So... Um, we've got a calorie tracker in there. So obviously you can, as you know, you can track all your food for us. We can set a meal plan for you in there as well, which you can follow or you can adjust. Um, then we put your training plans in there as well. So how much we want you to exercise during the week. Um, there's a messenger service in there. So we can uh, communicate in that. Um, and yeah, and then you do your daily and weekly check-ins, which tells me exactly, you know, we set the questions for those, tells us exactly what you've been doing. And then, as you know, when, when we get your weekly checking back, I then give you a weekly feedback, a um, little video um, feedback, and kind of we make a plan for the following week, and we do that every week for the eight weeks to try and keep you on track. 
Yeah, it's superb. And you're right. I mean, it, it can get very messy, can't it? And and also you want to you want to kind of have to sort of lubricate the process, don't you? If people are having mm -hmm. to open up Excel and work on spreadsheets, they're going to go off it, aren't they? They're going to go off. It. Yeah. You've made it as easy as is possible. There are a lot of moving parts um, to this, aren't there? Including to answer Louise's question here. Uh, what did the exercise program involve? Do, do you do a lot of strength training for me we did didn't we you know i started yeah. going to the gym for the first time as a result of this so what are the various aspects that are being brought together in the app here henry um what in, ter in terms of the training well, diet one of them isn't it i mean yeah you know sorry yeah nutrition training and mindset basically the, the three sort of pillars that we we deal with okay. um and and to answer sorry was it louise's yep do, do you do a lot of strength training yeah for, yeah for i mean it is it's it's based around a little bit of everything really, but the strength training is important for maintaining muscle mass, which is the key um, to body composition, to changing your body composition. So lowering your body fat and maintaining your muscle mass. Um, yeah. You need strength training, you need high protein diet, uh, which is what, what we basically focus on. And then obviously a lot of walking as well, just to complement that. And, and occasionally some high intensity exercise as well. Yeah. Um, I did try and persuade you to go to some of the classes, didn't I, Carl? But I don't know if you... If you manage it in the end at the local gym, <laughs> no, I haven't. But I'm, you know, you've <laughs> but he's done really well anyway. So well, you've no. changed me. You you've turned me from somebody who used to walk past the gym and be a bit sneery about it. You're like you know, I walk my dog and I don't need to go and use all those machines. To yeah. someone that actually really likes being in there now, you know, I I yeah, um I, I, you know, I think probably with gyms it's a bit of that um love not love hate but like you know, you're a bit resistant. And then when you go, you realize, you remember why you go and you feel great. I mean, mm. I felt fantastic walking home in the rain yesterday. I, you know, yeah. I felt sort of yeah. bigger and stronger as I was walking home from the gym, which is, I can see it from, if I look out the window now. And all of those strange noises that used to come from there, I now understand. I'd mm. make them myself. And I, you know, <laughs> and, I, and I maybe I will go to a spin class or something like that one of these days. Um, so yeah, the app is brilliant, Henry. The re really, really good. And yeah. that answers Louise's question. Like I say, it does, it does streamline the process. It makes it much easier for you and for us as coaches. So, yeah. so you know, it, it can only be a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Bon, oh, bon dia de VRSA. Sunny morning between the storms down there in the Algarve. Uh, Pete uh, saying hi to everybody. Uh, Pete, not a fan of the ready mix galau. Just why, when they are so cheap, delicious, and available everywhere, uh, galau in a box needs to be in the bin. It's trying something Portuguese, Pete. Come on, be a little bit more open minded. Um, of my pictures, those boxes need to wash. Okay. Um, Sexercise, best way to get in shape, lol. That's not part of the app, but I'm guessing you wouldn't be averse to people. Um, um, no using uh, the sexual intercourse as part of a calorie cult controlled routine as well. Yep. Okay. Why not? It's burning calories. Yep. Um, I, certainly it's improved life in the bedroom for me, if I may uh, comment upon that for a moment. I'm sleeping um, more deeply and for longer. I don't know what you expected <laughs> me to say there. 